it's the best fish I ever ate. Three, four o'clock in the morning, they wake up and they think they're going to die. Ciguatoxin is produced by a, a unicellular algae, and it's a benthic one. It actually attaches to the bottom primarily to seaweeds. And then small herbivorous fish come along, eat the seaweeds, and they get the toxin in them. So by the time you get to the top of the food chain, say a large uh, grouper or uh, barracuda, you know, have very high concentrations of this ciguatoxin. Bob just got this terrible, terrible GI pain, diarrhea, and so in the morning hours, he was still on the commode, and he says, you know, this has to be something like food poisoning. Early on, we started seeing uh, some of these unexplainable people getting sick of, of these symptoms. And since this is a toxin that needs to be extracted from tissue, you can't really test people. There was a study that was conducted to examine physicians' knowledge about ciguatera fish poisoning, and they found that two-thirds of the physicians did correctly diagnose the illness, but that meant that one-third didn't. They thought I was having a heart attack. I told my doctor, he said, oh no, definitely not. I went in the hospital. They had me in intensive care for 10 days, and four days into it, they said, you know something, you have ciguatera. doctors would say, well, you should be over this. You're, you're actually okay. Uh, we find nothing wrong with you. And it puts you in a position going, am I crazy? I feel like I've lost my mind.